This is Nadine with Happy Eating Healthy. Now, everyone loves that good hamburger or sandwich. Today I'm going to show you a healthy Sloppy Joe. The Sloppy Joe, if you put a fourth a cup of the mixture onto the bun, is only 101 calories for the meat mixture. And that's not that many calories for meat. And then whatever bun you choose would make up the rest of the calories. Let me show you how to do this. To start with, I have my ground beef in the pan. I use 93% lean ground beef, so it's really a ground sirloin. Because I really like the flavor of the beef. And this uh, sirloin, ground sirloin, is about the same amount of calories or less than the ground turkey. So I figure might as well stay with the beef that I really love. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brown this meat. Okay, this is broken up. So now I want to add my one fourth cup sugar and my steak seasoning. And I'm just going to, as this is browning, I'm going to break this up, break this up, stir it around. This is starting to get most of the way brown. When this is totally brown, what we're going to do is we're going to add the onions to this and have it uh, mix and get the onions cooked. So now I want to add the onions. And I'm turning the heat also down to medium. To the onions and meat mixture, I want to add the red wine vinegar and the Worcestershire sauce. And I'm just going to stir them in. And we're going to cook this for five minutes on the medium heat. So let me turn that timer on for five minutes. So we'll be back in five minutes when this has cooked. This is now cooked for about five minutes. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the tomato sauce and the tomato paste. So here is our meat mixture. I want to just add my tomato sauce and my tomato paste. Then I'm going to stir this in. And I'm also turning the heat down to a simmer. Once I have this completely stirred in, I'm going to cook this at a simmer for another five minutes. Now we do want it, before we start timing it, we do want this to come back up to a simmer. Because remember the um, tomato sauce and the tomato paste were cold. Well, they were room temperature, they weren't boiling. So we want this to come up to a simmer, and as soon as it comes up to a simmer, we will cook it for another five minutes. So I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit to get it back to a simmer. So you see now it is simmering. We're going to bring this down to a simmer. Stir that, release that heat, release that heat. And now we're going to cook this for another five minutes. This is now cooked for about another five minutes. Timer's about ready to go off. So let me show you what this looks like, and then we're ready to serve it. So here is our Sloppy Joe mix. There's the timer. And in like less than 15 minutes, I have this delicious yet healthy meal of Sloppy Joes. Let's go over to the counter, and I'll show you just how to serve this up. All right, so I have my plate with my bun. All I'm going to do is take this one fourth cup and my sloppy joe mix and just measure it out and put it on the bun. Notice one fourth cup is plenty for that bun. Then this can be served with the side of sweet potatoes. It's kind of like having the french fries, only it's a healthy alternative. Um, these are seasoned sweet potatoes, and at some point it will be on my website. 
I uh, can put a little ketchup there, maybe put a pickle with it, or some carrots, whatever it is that you want. But the sweet potato is your vegetable. I would probably just serve it with a side of fruit, maybe some pears or peaches or some kind of fruit. This is Nadine with Happy Eating Healthy. This is our delicious, healthy, sloppy joe. Enjoy! <laughs>